to the Emily Awards finale for 2015. Um, I'm really excited to share the products in this video because they are a lot of really amazing favorite products that just didn't fit into any of the other videos. So that's kind of what brought about the finale um, several years back when I started doing this. And as you know, I've done the top 10 style with my face, eyes, and lips videos. And I was actually thinking about doing that with the finale as well, but I really think it would work best to just kind of go about this video the way I've done all of the ones in the past. Some of the categories are just so varied and different. Like I've got skincare, I've got some hair stuff, I've got all these different things that I'll be talking about. So I just thought it would make sense to go right down the list and give you all of the winners as usual. So my first category is the only one that has like a high-end and drugstore split and we are talking about best brushes here. So the best brush for high-end, really one of the ones that I feel like I've used the most and I've found to be so versatile is this It Cosmetics. I think it's called the Heavenly Lux Dual foundation brush and it has like a foundation end which is really nice and dense and super soft as you would expect the it cosmetics brushes to be but then the other end is really perfect for concealer too or you could use that for highlight or you know you could use this end if you wanted to dab on a cream blush you could use this end to buff in a powder foundation if you want to it just blends really well in circular motions just a great buffing style brush and I've just used it a whole lot I know the double ended style is frustrating for for some people and it kind of is for me too because many of us store our brushes in a cup or some sort of style where it's going to be standing on its end. So with this, I mean, I do store my double-ended brushes in kind of a long skinny tray and I just keep them in a drawer. And then talking about drugstore brushes, I feel like it's been a very drugstore brush heavy year for me. I feel like I've been using a lot from e.l.f., a lot from Sonia Kashuk, a lot of real techniques, so that's great to see that there are so many high quality brush lines from the drugstore, but Up and Up, the brand from Target, has really got a lot of great brushes, particularly their face brushes. I've just fallen in love with them. This foundation buffing brush is a great option. I also am a huge fan of the blush brush. That can be nice for contouring as well as blush, even highlight. And then they have like a little multi-pack set that has some really nice brushes, particularly this highlight brush. Love the size, just really applies a targeted, you know, pinpoint highlight where you want it. Outstanding tool is one of my categories, and this year um, I'm going to give it to one of the unsung heroes of my makeup collection, and it would be my Tarte Lash Curler. I used to rave so much about a particular curler that e.l.f. made. It was called the Mechanical Lash Curler, and they stopped making it after a while. It had a nice little, like, handle to it, and I felt like it fit my eyes so well worked so well and then of course things get phased out and I gotta say this one from Tarte I really like so many things about the way it functions it's got this little pad here that is kind of squishy and I feel like that pad needs to be a little squishy particularly for straight lashes like mine to really get a curl working in the lashes so I like that also the curve of this seems to just fit my eye shape really nicely and of course the pearls don't hurt either I got that not this past holiday season, but the one before. So it was limited edition. I have seen this pop up a time or two on Hope Look, but even if you can't get your hands on this particular one, you know, the style of their actual lash curler, the part that really matters is the same with whatever kind they put out. Now, I have a category for most innovative product, and this is not going to a real traditional makeup product this year. It's actually going to a makeup bag, which has been a super game changer for me in terms of how much it can hold, how well it keeps things separated, it has a compartment for brushes, it's just been awesome. And I think I talked about this even before Christmas time, and then did a lot of traveling around Christmas, used it even more, and it just reaffirmed how much I love this. This is from Sonia Kashuk, it's called The Weekender. And I know you're seeing this kind of green and blue plaid print, that may not be everyone's cup of tea, but this comes out, I think as she puts out different collections, it comes out in different styles all the time. So if you look at Target's website right now, now you'll probably see like five or six different varieties. But it's such a great bag for not only your makeup storage, but also toiletries. I mean, anything large, the compartments aren't too confining. You definitely have some flexibility with this bag, but one thing that was a real must for me is the fact that it has brush storage here. So you just slip your brushes right down there. That goes over the top. Um, it's got a nice zippered compartment that goes back behind there. I even fit like a smaller makeup bag there for my teeny tiny things. A huge clear 
other compartment over on the other side and then a whole other side of the bag opens up and you've got these removable clear bags here. So if you want to see this all packed up, see examples of the things that I've taken in it, I do have a video all about that. For me personally, it's everything I need it to be and I think that does qualify it as a pretty innovative product because there just aren't a lot of makeup bags that you run into that really get the job done, house everything you need. There are so many times where the bag will be undersized and then I've got all these little sub bags that I've got to worry about taking. Next up is my award for the cutest packaging and this one, it's also kind of a practical product as well, but I think the packaging is adorable. It's my In the Balm of Your Hand palette. I'm really glad I had an opportunity to mention this palette because um, it just didn't fit into my other palette categories. It's just as much a face palette as it is an eye palette really. It's got a couple lip cheek products over here too, but they have put in um, just classic must-have amazing products from their regular line. Downsized the blushes a little bit, giving you full sizes of the eyeshadows, but they've put it all into this sort of all-star palette. But I love with the interior packaging how they kept the theme of all of these individual products because you know the balm is very distinct about the way things are packaged. So the Hot Mama looks like the Hot Mama blush. That's the way the Instain blush looks. This is the whole theme of like the How About Them Apples, the Balm Girls lipstick, Mary Luminizer. Like you can recognize where those are all coming from in their full size palettes. And then the outside is really cute because they've done a whole collage of all of the adorable packaging from various products. And this says Volume 1, Greatest Hits Volume 1. So I'm just hoping a Volume 2 comes out at some point in time because this was a great, great find. Every year I mention a product in the category needs to be in your purse. And this year is a back-to-back -back winner. Um, and it's just a necessity. It's my Revlon Precision Lash Glue. Like, <laughs> if I'm wearing false lashes and I don't have this with me, I'm concerned. Like, I'm instantly a little bit like, ooh, I hope nothing happens to my lashes. And it's such a security blanket type thing because more often than not, my lashes aren't going anywhere, particularly if this is the lash glue that I use, you know, at the start of the day to put them on. But if you should happen to need some sort of a lash touch up, I mean, it's not like you can just grab for something else and make it work. It's got to be lash glue and it really helps if it's a lash glue with a wand. So if I needed to just touch up like the inner part started to come up from my false lashes, you can easily dab this on. On your lash line and actually press it back down without having to completely redo the look. So a wand applicator is great with your lash glue and this particular lash glue I think holds better than anything. Like I said, it's not something I'm going to have to reach for very often, but I love to know it's there just in case because if your lashes start coming off, I mean, you got problems. You need something like this on hand. So every year in the Emily Awards finale, I announce an MVP, a most valuable product for face, eyes, and lips, but this year it's pretty obvious what those are since my top tens counted down to a best product in each video. So just to remind you, for face, that would be the custom cover drops from Cover FX. Love those. Love how you can just add a couple drops to any foundation, any moisturizer type product. I personally love the way they blend in. For eyes, it was the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. Just a fabulous mascara. I think especially for people who have lashes that struggle to hold a curl, lashes that you would really like to see lengthened out a whole heck of a lot. It just works great for me. I feel like it builds up volume and length really quickly. One way to really help your lashes stand out more, I'll just skip the liner. If I'm only going to wear that mascara, I skip the liner and I feel like my lashes look huge. And then my MVP for lips, my number one product in the lip video was the Bite Luminous Cream Lipstick. Um, this has been a lip MVP before and for good reason. It's a really high quality lip product. I feel like it's got all the bases covered in terms of being comfortable, being incredible, incredibly pigmented, having a great color selection, the added bonus of having great ingredients, food grade ingredients. Now for the categories of skincare, body, and hair, I just share three of the products in each of those categories that would be my top picks. So one product for skincare that has really just dominated the Emily Awards, I've been using these forever, it's the Olay Daily Facials or the Equate Hydrating Face Wash Cloths. I really will just go either way, like if I'm at Walmart, I will always go for the Equate because I think they really work just as well. But if I'm somewhere else and I just really need them now, I'll buy the Olay. This happens to be the sensitive version. With Olay, you'll find different textures on the cloths. Like I've got a deep pore version that's a little more scrubby. The sensitive version, you can almost see through the little holes here. But these are dry cloths that suds up when you get them 
Wet, and they are fantastic for makeup removal. I mean, fully removing all makeup, including the eyes. These are probably the reasons why I've had trouble being fully satisfied with, like, the pre-moistened face wipes, because those never take it off as quickly as something like this does. Granted, you've got to add your own water to it, but, I mean, it just makes for a really quick and easy and thorough makeup removal. My other two things for best skincare are actually masks. I feel like I've discovered quite a few really great masks this year, so I chose my top two to mention in this video. One of them is the Glossier Moisturizing Moon Mask, and you'll notice there are little stickers all over this. That's because when you buy from this brand, they give you a sheet of stickers that you can use to decorate your products however you want, so I do enjoy that, but all of the packaging aside, this is a really great mask for cooling, refreshing, making the skin feel super hydrated and soft. You really feel like this is giving something back to your skin. It just looks creamy and, you know, you put slather it on your face, it will feel cooling. It will feel really, really refreshing while you've got the mask on. And they say to leave it on for like 20 minutes, but then when you go to rinse it, it feels even more like refreshing. You feel so good and then you touch your skin after you're all dried off and it's like, ah, oh, it's so good. You know, it's a really great mask. And they have another mask. It's called like Galaxy Greens or something. And it's not a bad mask, but just the effects you feel from it on your skin, this is 10 times better in my opinion. Then I am two for two for loving the gel masks from Peter Thomas Roth. I have the Rose Stem Cell Mask and the Cucumber Gel Mask. And these both, like they each have their own distinct scent first off. Comparing these to the Moisturizing Moon Mask, um, this is the most moisturizing of any of these, but I still think any skin type could use this and benefit from it. I don't think it would make oily skin feel like an oil slick because I mean, you are going through that whole process of rinsing it off and your skin just feels, I don't know, nicely hydrated afterwards. These seem to make my skin feel really soft afterwards, but they're a little more on the clarifying side, if that makes sense. I think the cucumber one most of all. Like, my skin just feels really nice and deep cleaned after I rinse it off, but these can also be used if you want to lightly use these on top of your night cream or night moisturizer. They say you can sleep with a light layer of this on, and then when you rinse off in the morning, you really feel like the added moisture has been locked in. But this rose one is the one I've had the longest. I've used it a lot, and I, I still feel like I've got a ton left. I don't know where it's going. It's like some Sometimes when I go to an Italian restaurant, you've got the big plate of pasta and you're eating for days and it's like, where is the food going? It's still all on my plate. Both of these also, when I rinse off, I do feel that nice cooling effect. I would say kind of go for whichever scent you prefer most because they are pretty similar in the overall effects for your skin. I would say they're clarifying. When you rinse your skin, you feel kind of a deep cleaned effect, but still softening. This one adds a little more moisture back to the skin. Okay, I've got three body products, two of which are from so Soap and Glory. Like, Soap and Glory has been the body care line that has just worked its way into my life over the past year. And one thing I absolutely love is my Sugar Crush Body Butter Cream. So this has that sweet lime scent. It smells like a margarita and ice cream mixed together. It's just, it's refreshing. It's unique. It's really different. And somebody had asked me if I like this better than the Josie Marin Whipped Argon Body Butter. And that is a great product. What they do for my skin is not terribly different. Like they're both, both this kind and the Josie Marin are very, very hydrating for me. But it's just the scent of this really that's taking it over the top. And it's a really good value. You're getting just over 10 ounces in this tub for 15 bucks. So I would highly recommend that. If you love something refreshing, a little bit citrusy, um, definitely sweet smelling. Now I don't care who you are or what scent you like, I think you would absolutely love the Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub. This is my second body care favorite product. This smells so amazing. It's like, how do they balance a scent that smells so clean, so fresh, but also a little hint of maple and just the sweetness and kind of, I don't know, baked in goodness that you might smell from a pancake. It's like, it's so, so good. As you can see, I've dug into this a lot. I use it in the shower. It is absolutely the most 
dense, hardcore scrub that I have ever used. Like you get a little bit on your hand and it goes to work. And your skin feels really soft afterwards as a result. So in my book, I'm giving super high marks to a product that's going to combine amazing scent with a practical, like really useful purpose. So that's exactly what this does. My third thing for body that I'm gonna mention, and I know it's not that exciting and it's definitely not very glamorous, but it is very important and it's my secret clinical strength stress response deodorant. And I get it in the invisible solid, not the kind that's like, I don't know, some people might like it, but it's the creamy version that like clicks up through. I'm not a fan of that. This I find just, it goes on, it doesn't show. The scent on it is really nice actually. It smells a little bit on the fruity side, but this is like endorsed by Oprah's Life Glass or whatever. You'll see that label on the box when you buy it. I sweat a lot and this secret clinical strength in the invisible solid, this works better than the creamy kind that clicks up for me. It really just keeps the sweating at bay. I've tried the natural deodorants, like the La Vanilla kind, I think it's called, that you know are all natural, supposed to be better for you to use those. But that stuff didn't do anything for me. I felt wet and sweaty and gross. And I know that part of this is just my personal body chemistry, probably. Um, I'm a hot person, like not sexy hot. I'm not saying that, but I run hot. Like I, I'm not, I don't go places and always feel cold. I generally feel hot. So what can I say? It's a deodorant that works. It deserves a shout out. For hair, my three products that I'm going to talk about, I have two workhorse products and one kind of fun thing. So one of the workhorses, as you can see, I just mentioned one of these in an empties and this is where we're at already on our next one, but this is the Suave Naturals Almond Verbena um, two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. The one step, first off, for speed, that's nice, but it also just seems to really balance my hair out. I feel like I've gotten on here and talked on 10 different occasions about how for a period of time I had an oily scalp and then I started using this and like my hair was perfectly shiny, manageable. All hair problems were really solved after I started using this. So I don't know if it's the two-in-one or, or what the deal is really, but it just, it works. It really truly works as a two-in-one. I don't need to pull in a separate conditioner unless I really want to do like a hair masking type thing in the shower, you know, an added treatment. This works well for day to day for me. I've talked about liking the Finesse 2-in-1 as well. That's a little more moisturizing. I do love that. One of the strikes against that though is that it was really hard to find. I actually couldn't find that in any drugstore and I had to order that off of drugstore.com. This kind I feel like I see everywhere, so that helps too. Plus it's just a couple of bucks. Another thing I keep up here in a small size because I do attempt to touch up some of these flyaways before for my videos. I might not have gotten them all down this time, but it's my Tresemme Tray 2 hairspray. It's the level four extra hold. And I do have like a giant can of this downstairs as well. It's just the best hairspray. I need something that's not going to weigh down my hair, not going to make it feel greasy after I go through part of the day. And another thing I love about this is I can kind of use it as I style. So let's say I put some rollers in my hair, some Velcro rollers, and I want to sort of set them in by spraying some of this. Once I take my hair down, I can brush through and I feel like this has given my hair extra hold, even though it's like loose and touchable and natural natural seeming, you know? I like how the mist is very diffused and soft. There are some hairsprays that spray out like psh, like so hard, like you're gonna kill a cockroach with that stuff or something. Like these are nice and soft and manageable. Third hair product that I love would be the flexible headbands. The headbands that have like a wire in there that you can put on and go like this, wrap them around. And you've got this fun little look, kind of like a bandana-ish type look, but a lot less work than having to wrangle around the bandana. These little things, I mean, you could easily put that in without looking in a mirror and it's great. Now I have found these, I can't remember the brand where I found these at CVS. It might've been Goody, but I know for sure this one, this plaid print was the Remington brand and I found it at Target. They've got some lighter solid colors that I saw last time I was in there. I just think these are the neatest idea. And if you wanted to, you could really like wrap them around a bun or something like that. I've got actually some shorter ones that I had found at CVS that were specifically to go around a bun. But I especially find that I love this kind of thing in the summertime because you can toss your hair up in a bun or a ponytail or leave your hair down, 
throw this on and it's like everything off your face. You have those days where you just want everything off your face. So thank you guys so much for watching the Emily Awards this year and tuning in for the finale and just supporting what I do here on YouTube. I really love the thought that there is a community of people out there all over the world who shares this common interest like I do in makeup, in beauty products, sees it as fun, and that we can all come together and enjoy this stuff and know that it's not the most serious thing in the world Makeup, I mean, it's just fun to have a lighthearted, fun hobby in your life like this, is it not? And all this time that I've been working on the Emily Awards, I've still been compiling my little list of things off to the side of other videos I'm going to do once the Emily Awards are done. So I've been working on that. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.